experience is a, is a huge enabler. I mean, someone who hasn't had experience and perhaps just reads the books, it could be a lot harder, a harder journey, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so I will talk a little bit about some of the materials out there for anybody that's interested in maybe pursuing some of the Juniper certifications. There's some really excellent free training options out there for people. Um, one of the things that that doesn't include is actually access to devices that you can log into. And, you know, that's really critical for, um, you know, hey, anybody can break into the industry, maybe with the, the associate level. I think you can go and just read that material and pursue the exam and you'll have the baseline knowledge without actually having touched a device to, to be fine with path, passing the exam. But if you want to really move up the stack to those higher level certifications, you know, there, there's, there's no amount of just training. You're going to have to have some physical hands-on access to devices and, and ha- spend some, some stick time, um, you know, working with the CLI. Stefan, just before we Go any further. I wanted to get a bit of input about your business and like your social media, because hopefully people can you know connect to you on Twitter and other places. But perhaps you can just tell us about like your socials and and, and your business and what you get up to these days. Yeah, sure. Thanks, David. So um, I am the CTO of a company called Shortest Path First. I actually Love started. The name. <laughs> it's based on <laughs> Dijkstra <laughs> algorithm. So yeah. so I, the way it got got it started is actually. I had been blogging for years under the moniker shortest path first, um, just because I have a passion for routing protocols and algorithms and things of that nature. Um, And then, uh, you know, I've been blogging under that um, domain name for many years. And then when I decided that I wanted to start my own business, it kind of dawned upon me that I already have all this um, SEO. um, There's all this search engine uh, optimization that would happen as a result of all these blog articles that I had already written out there. So I just named my company after my blog. Uh, shortest path first. And yeah, that's pretty much what we do is we focus on, um, you know, routing, switching, security, tends to focus a lot on Juniper, but we do Palo Alto, Arista, Fortinet, um, VMware, primarily just consulting, reselling, traditional value added reseller type operation. Um, Our website is www.spfirst.net or if you are so inclined and you want to type the whole thing out, you can go to shortestpathfirst.net. And we have YouTube, we've got Facebook, we've got LinkedIn, we've got Twitter. Um, I think it's not that hard to search on these things, but yeah, if you just Google shortest path first, all one word, no spaces, uh, you'll basically be able to find all of those things. So we've got some light board videos on YouTube and some other cool interviews. Not quite as cool as the one that David has with his channel here, but uh, <laughs> something to aspire to. I appreciate it. I've, for everyone who's watching, I've put those links below. Go and show the love. Stefan, they can contact you on Twitter perhaps with questions. Just for everyone watching, please don't like overrun them with thousands of questions. But is, is what's the best way to like interact with you? Is it LinkedIn, Twitter? Where's a good place? Yeah, Twitter's a great place. I'm pretty active on Twitter. So I would definitely be happy to respond there. LinkedIn is fine too. I'm, I'm very much open in terms of my networking. So um, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance and uh, I would be happy to make that connection. So. Yeah, let me ask you some hard questions because this is the questions I get from the audience. So like the first thing is I don't have money. I'm perhaps not based in the US. I'm based somewhere else. But I think you've, you've already alluded to that. The training from Juniper is free, right? There's so many good um, options right here. But yeah, if you go to Juniper's website and just go to training, you'll see all this good stuff right here. Now, I, I, I realize we're talking mostly about Juniper. You know, th- for other vendors, there's similar options and things. But yeah, for Juniper, there's this link right here, free training. I, I was actually blown away by this today. Pretty much all the associate level curriculum for you know all the different tracks. You've got cloud security, mists. there's a design associate. So they've got a tremendous amount of free stuff here that's available to you. All you basically need to do is just click the link and subscribe, zero dollars. And it has so many good stuff. Here's one, for example, for somebody who might have like a CCNA and they are wanting to learn Junos, they can subscribe to this one. And it has a whole bunch of modules, basically giving somebody who already has sort of that Cisco background, the knowledge of how do I transition over to Juniper. And then after going through these modules, they are even offering you discounted vouchers. So you just take like a practice uh, or what they call a voucher assessment test. And if you get 70% or higher, they give you 75% off. So you can basically get a certification at the associate level for just $50 and a little bit of your time. 
that's the long-winded answer to your question on, you know, how does somebody that maybe is sort of limited in funds, you know, pursue some of these certifications? And I will just point out that if you get the JNCIA in a particular track, then they have the specialist level and they have similar free training at the specialist level. And they have similar free training at the professional level as well. So as you get these certifications, they're, they're providing a lot of options. Now, well, let me just state that these, um, this free curriculum that they're offering here, this is basically like the slideware only, and it, it's like the student guide. Um, the one thing you don't have is you don't have access to devices. So, you, you know, if you want to practice and learn these skills um, in real time, like you're going to still need to, you know, maybe hack up a lab or something like that to get, get some of this stuff up and running. But this at least gives you the, the courseware. Um, and the fact that a lot of it's being offered for, for free is just pretty cool. I mean, it's like we've, we've been both been in the game a long time. I mean, I, rem I remember years ago having to spend like thousands or people were spending thousands of dollars a week for training like this. And it's it's fantastic that Juniper offering this for free. I mean, it takes away that whole excuse, right? I, I love what your story was like. These guys are like saying bad things about me. I'm not I'm not happy in my place or the position I'm in, but I'm going to study now. I'm going to buy books mm -hmm. and whatnot. It's, the onus is now on the person who's watching to go and get this material because it's free. And then, right. all, like you said, all they, all they need to do is spend the time and then like $50 for associate. I mean, that, that's amazing. I love that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's really, you know, people are going to have to put in some modicum amount of investment into their future, yeah. but it doesn't exactly. necessarily have to be a lot, you know, and there's lots of options out there for somebody that wants to maybe spin up a Juniper device and actually get some hands on. They don't have to go out and buy a physical device. You can even go onto AWS Marketplace and you can just turn up um, a, like a, a, a trial license of VSRX. And uh, VSRX is Juniper's firewall device, but you can convert that into packet mode. And in which case it operates just like a traditional Juniper router. And you can run MPLS, you can run BGP, OSPF, you can that's run all right. those things. So there's lots of options. And that's like an, a, a way people can get hands on with the, with the equipment without actually having access to physical devices.